This year I decided to take my goddaughter on a hunting trip. She's never been on one, so no better person than my goddaughter. So my son's grown up now, been here, done that, so he moved on, so now I need to fill the void. So my goddaughter, I told her I was gonna take her up here. I taught her how to shoot a bow and uh, she did well and uh, we come up here and pursued her dream. So when I decided to take my godchild hunting, there was no doubt in my mind that absolutely pipeline would be the pace to go because I've been here, done it, and never ever had a bad experience. Um, and so to make her dream come true, pipeline was the place to go. So I get a call from Uncle Rick. He said, listen, you're gonna have to take a day off from work. I'm taking you to Pipeline Ridge and we're gonna kill a big buck. So obviously I was like, done deal, let's go. <laughs> well, what do you think, Lauren? Oh man. Are you excited? I'm excited. Ready to get a big boy. Are you gonna make your boyfriend look bad? He's, he's gonna be jealous, that's for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. He likes shooting does. I mean, that's what he does, you know, because he can't kill a buck. You know? Yeah. He's probably scared. He gets the does, I get the bucks. All right. <laughs> Beautiful book, but Rick is hoping for Lauren to shoot one with drop times. So first off, we headed to a blind hoping to see a big buck, which there was a big buck standing there. But Uncle Rick looked at me, he said, nope, I got an even bigger one in mind. I said, what, they get bigger than that? <laughs> All right, well, we've seen quite a few deer, just never seen the buck that, you know, Rick wanted Lauren to shoot. So time to get the old head chef back to the kitchen so Rick can cook lunch for everybody, and then we'll get right back after him. So other than hunting, I have to cook for everybody up here. And every year I come up here, I make the usual lasagna, the sausage, potato salad, uh, sausage, egg, and potatoes every morning. So I, I, I got a full-time job cooking while I'm here. So I hunt and cook. So uh, it's what makes me happy, makes everybody else happy. Well, we got a belly full of food and we were gonna head right back out to a different blind. And before we even got to the blind, we spotted a doe come running over the hill with two great big old bucks following her. And next thing you know, the fight's on. Two giant bucks just getting into it, getting into this huge fight. And then all of a sudden, as we're watching that, we look up and there he is. Uncle Rick gave me the okay. He said, oh yeah, that's the one I picked out for you today. So we started moving in on him. And I caught a glimpse of this one and I said, that's the one, it was no doubt in my mind. So I asked her if she's game for it, she is. So we took off on foot. We got set up 40 yards from him. Well, finally he started closing the distance. He got to 40 yards, started coming as a touch closer. Time to make the shot. And then just waited for him to turn broadside. Finally he did, and bang, I took that shot. <laughs> He was a tough one to find, but we got it. We got it. Oh, and there he goes, laying down. Beat that in my mind. You are so awesome. <laughs> this is awesome.
And that, my friends, is what it's all about. Seeing the smile on her face, seeing how happy Rick is, you know, that's what makes it all worthwhile for me to drive all the way out here from Minnesota to film these guys. Tell you what, another awesome hunt out here at Pipeline <laughs> Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want some ham and tater salad. There's your arrow. Yeah. Glad you, glad you it's funny it went through so hard, so fast, there ain't even no blood on it. They Kill go. shot. Kill shot. Clean. <laughs> All right, look behind the tree. Oh, I see a rack. <laughs> Let's go. He lost so much blood. This ain't got more garbage than a garbage truck. Oh man. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, how much perfect of a, of a shot could there be? Yeah, I know. Jeez. <laughs> what a beast. Tell me about it. Oh, well, you know. We saw <laughs> we saw some buck earlier, but they weren't up to the standard, you know. We were looking for this big guy right here. Finally, yeah. spotted him, chased oh, him a little bit, stalked him, got him, and then waited for him to get into the perfect position. Saw my shot, and I took it, kill shot every time. Uh, it's pretty cool how the afternoon played out. We got here, found his buck, but there were two other bucks here that we watched. Yep. A big buck fight. Yeah. The yep. license fight. There's a hot doe in the arrow. I had all these bucks right here in one little area. Mm-hmm. Yep. We I'll knew he was somewhere. I'll guarantee you, you can drive the wheels right off the pickup and not find a buck bigger than that one right there. Yeah. No way. No Never way. seen one like this. Mm. So, I wanted her to kill something very special, not ordinary. So, she actually killed the biggest buck that none of my family's ever killed before. She, she tops it. She killed the biggest one there is. And a lot of it is because I wanted to make her boyfriend jealous. <laughs> so he only kills those. <laughs> my trip here to Pipeline Complete would not be complete without Mr. Jason Irish. He's the one that puts it all together and makes it happen. So he has to be with me when I'm on a hunting trip anymore. Like I said, my son's grown up. So <laughs> Jason's like a son to me and he'll be hunting with me forever until I can't hunt no more. <laughs>